What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by bringing another Sims 4 video because not many people probably even know about this but today um, I'm going to actually be showing you something pretty interesting that not many Sims players probably know about. Now typically the only way to unlock a new area in the Sims 4 is with the purchase of a game pack or an expansion pack. What players might not know however is that there is a few hidden locations players can find both in the base game and the special DLC. Now, once players choose a neighborhood and lot to move their sims into, and once the sim begins to work in their life, players not be able to move around as much or explore the neighborhood. However, they absolutely should uh, explore around, move around, and all that awesome special stuff to unlock special hidden areas, which often have empty lot and exclusive collectibles not found elsewhere in the game. So with patience, finesse, and a few well-placed cheats, players can take their sims to mystical areas hidden in plain sight within the sims universe. Now, accessing some of these hidden worlds, though, do require players to have certain Sims 4 packs installed. The game has been received additional hidden worlds and with each new DLC throughout the game's lifespan. While, Sim, uh, while some hidden worlds have been in the game since the beginning, new hidden worlds have been added, such as the Snowy Escape expansion. Here are all the hidden areas available in the Sims 4 and how to get there and what players can find there. So the first one we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually going over to um, the first... The first one is called Sylvan Glade, and we're going to actually be going over to this lot. So we're going to travel. I'm going to pick my wife here. I'll even, I'll even do my dog too, just so I can keep him happy as well. So we're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to go to this special world. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get to each world. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into travel on your phone, and you want to click on this slot right here. Or you can click on this slot. Technically, you can click on any of these slots. It's in this neighborhood. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just click on this one. Now, Sylvan Glade is one of the two hidden areas players can access without purchasing extra DLC content. So it's nearby the Crick and a lot in Wilders Creek. Players may notice a large ornate tree right over here. Alright, so you can tell that it's different from the other trees. There's a lot more detail on it and so forth and flowers around it and stuff, as these trees are more plain. Now, as you can see, once you click over it, once you hover over it, you can see the white outline, but you can click on it. Um, so it has glowing mushrooms by the canal that look somewhat out of place among the rest of the foliage in the neighborhood. This is because it's a secret passage to Sylvan Glade. Players cannot simply access the grove by finding the tree, however. Their sims has to encourage the tree to reveal its secret door. Players need to have their sims approach the tree and click on it. The only interaction that will be available at first is to view the tree. So if we click on it right here, we're going to be viewing the tree. So we're going to bring our character over there, our sim over there. This will be the case the next few times the sim interacts with the tree. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to view the tree a few times. We're actually really quick going to make him happy as well. So we're going to make happy. And then we're going to do the same thing with her because she's not really that happy either. And then my dog, we're also going to do the same thing. Make happy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, we view the tree, we're going to view it again. So we're just going to keep viewing the tree over and over and over again. Now once you do that, you can see water. So after a while, the players will see the option to water the tree, which they should have the sim do. Eventually, a few more interactions will open up and encourage players to ch uh, chat with the tree and compliment its leaves. So now we're going to go ahead and water again. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over again until we can actually see the option to chat with the tree, so we're going to view it again. So you have to do this a few different times. And now you can actually compliment on leaves. So we're going to go ahead and compliment on the leaves. And you want to just do this stuff. You want to discuss the nature now. So now we can discuss nature. Now you can see right here, you can see that there's a hidden passage, like a little hidden area that you can actually go into. So now we can go in here, we can explore. So we're going to go inside, we're going to try to explore it. So he's going inside the tree right now. Now, you can see there's a, going to be a few things that we're going to have to read here. So this trunk is a lot bigger than anticipated. It's dark, but somehow not scary. A faint glow is its only light, a, a rolling, sorry, a rolling burble, the only sound. So we're going to follow the sound. And we're going to keep doing this over and over again. Now another one. Anthony uh, delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells him that 
they just have stepped into the shallow stream. So we're going to follow the downstream. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate as Sue Remain, Anthony is distracted by an um, ethereal mist glowing ominously. We're going to enter the mist. The mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Anthony feels the sensation of being spun around and exit to the cave now staring him in the face. Now we can go right here, so we can return to the tree entrance and we can travel to the glade. Would you like to send Anthony to Sylvan Glade? Yes. So now we're going to go into Sylvan Glade. Now at this point, the other people of my family will actually tend for themselves. So the only thing I have to do to make sure she does that is click on this, care for self. Or I could bring Kenzie here. Let's bring Kenzie here. Of course, the dog's going to come with as well. Now, you can see this special area right here. So you can go in here, you can fish together, you can look for frogs, you can go fishing, all that type of stuff. There's also rare fishes that you can catch here. Um, so after Sims spend enough time talking to the tree, the tree will reveal a door. Players need to enter the passageway or enter the passageway and answer a series of role-playing questions um, about where the sim will navigate inside the rabbit hole. They should select follow the sound, travel downstream, enter the mist, and travel to the glade. If a player chooses incorrect options, the passage will eject the sim, and the sim will be left with an uncomfortable or embarrassed mood that will prevent them from trying again until it expires. Choosing the correct options will result in a loading screen, and the sims will appear in Sylvan Glade, which is where we are right now. Now, Sylvan Glade does have um, a hidden lot that players can build on if cheats are enabled. The lot is not very big, but it can be a good location for a tent, fridge, shower, and other need-filled objects. Players can use to avoid needing to go home when needs you know, get low or whatever. So to access this, players should open up the console. On PC, it's Control and C. So open up Control and C. I already have Testing Cheats True, but what you would do is you would type in Testing Cheats True. So you just type in that, just like that. No capital at all. Testing Cheats is there's no spaces in between those, and then you do space and then type in True. And then press Enter. Once the console displays the message that cheats are enabled, players should type in BB Enable Free Build. So now we're going to type in BB enable oops free build free build mode is now enabled so now we can take this off and we can go into build mode so now we can actually build on this lot now it is a very very small lot as you can clearly see um it's a very very small lot there's not really much you could actually um you know do on it i mean you can take the pond away if you want and build some stuff on it there it is so now you can actually build some stuff on it if you want um, you can take this pond away, delete it, you know, do anything like that if you want. But we're going to keep the pond there because I like it. But you can actually build showers here and build anything you need to be able to actually, um, you know, fill up your needs if you want. If you want to spend some time in here doing some stuff, this is what this lot would be for. So if you need to add like a toilet, a shower, you know, like a bathroom type thing, um, you know, or if you want to build like a bed and sleep or whatever and spend some time here, you know, set up like a little tiny campsite if you want, go fishing, all that type of stuff, you know. I would just probably move this pond over a little bit like this so I have room to add my stuff that I want to add to go camping, which I probably will do in a future episode so I can actually show you more detail about the stuff you can collect here. Uh, but it will allow players to build however they would like. Uh, there's also a pond, a waterfall, and the rare plants and fish in the glade. It is the only place in the game where players can catch the tree fish. So Sims with the angel, uh, the angler trait uh, will want to visit Sylvan Glade. Players can also find rare flowers, plants, and insects here for collecting planting. Players who have purchased the Spa Day game pack, which I do have, uh, can also have the Sims return to Sylvan Glade simply through the meditation. Now the next one that we're going to actually be visiting is the Forgotten Grotto. So, um, the Forgotten Grotto is actually an oasis. Um, Eraser Springs. So we're going to go ahead and go into travel. So we're going to travel here. We're going to take Kenzie and Pogo. So now we're going to go over to Oasis Springs. So once you do that, it automatically brings you over into the world thing or whatever. You can visit any world you want. Obviously, there's some expansions that I actually don't have, but I don't have to worry about that because um, none of these expansions, none of these worlds have secret hidden areas in it. All the ones that do, I already have so we can access them all. So we're gonna go into Oasis Springs. Now Forgotten Grotto is located in an abandoned mine in Oasis Springs and can be accessed either through Desert Bloom Park, behind the um, Frustra Mansion lots, or behind the Landgrab 
um, lots. So there's a few places right here as you can see. Uh, so there's the land grab, so you can actually access it from there if you want. Um, or the other one that you can go into, there's an abandoned mansion. Um, trying to find which one it is. Um, I think I actually might have deleted the abandoned mansion now thinking about it. Uh, but we're just going to go here because you can actually access it from here. So we're going to go here. Now the mine entrance is sealed by boards that cannot be broken until a sim has reached level 10. Um, Alright, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to find, i got to try and remember where this is at. That's the only thing I gotta try to remember where this is actually located at. I know it's in here somewhere, but I gotta try to remember exactly. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you can see it requires handing the skill level ten. All right, so we can go. It's right behind the Land Grant Mansion. Okay, so we can go over here now. Players can choose to achieve the skill through skill cheats or organically by having the sims read books about handiness, repair appliances and plumbing around their home and perform upgrades to appliances, plumbing and electronics. Once a sim has a correct handiness level, which is the max level, players can click on the abandoned mine to have the sim interact with it. It will take a sims a few minutes of fiddling to open the mine shaft, which will be trigger another rabbit hole adventure. Uh, they should take the white path to climb the ladder and step onto the ladder to transport into the grotto. So. We're going to do the cheat, uh, just because we're not going to spend all that time, you know, trying to get our handiness up. Because I'm just want, trying to get to the point here of actually showing you guys the places. So, to use the cheat, if you don't have the handiness thing, you can use the cheat. And it's going to be stats.set underscore skill underscore level. And then space. And then it's major underscore handiness and then 10 now we have the handiness skill all right so now we can go here we're gonna break open so he's gonna come all the way over here now so he's making his way over here right now there he is there we go all right and now we can explore so like I said we're gonna be taking the white path Climb the ladder and then step onto the ledge to get into this place. If you choose anything other than those options, it's going to eject you just like the tree would. Which is pretty uh, self-explanatory exactly what that does. It just bounces you back out of the thing. So we're not even going to, I'm not even going to show you that. Um, but it says, Anthony Ever, uh, the Interpret Explorer, sets out to spell on the glaive or the cave. There are two pathways. The narrow of the two is a bit stalactite, but Anthony's um, stalag might fit if he squeezes. We're going to take wide path. So he's taking the wide path now. Alright, no need to try something dangerous. Anthony creeps down the main branch and spies through the, uh, through the dim remaining light a switch back headed gradually up and rickety ladder headed down. So we're going to climb the ladder. Alright, Anthony carefully plunges into the black abyss, groping his way along splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts um, to fill the expanse below. He can step off onto a dim mossy uh, precipice or continue into the blue. So now we're going to step onto the ledge. A soft mossy path leads Anthony effortlessly, effortlessly Onward until he spies the entranceway to a beautiful grotto. Now we're going to travel to the forgotten grotto. So that brings us to the loading screen to bring us into the world. And this is the same exact thing. This world is the same exact thing, so we can actually build on it. I think the um, the lot that you can build is actually a little bit. Um, I believe it's a little bit bigger. I think it's like this whole area. I think it's actually a little, a slightly bigger than the last one that we went to. Um, we can do the same exact thing. You can do um, big bit enable free build, I think is what it was. Yep, now you can enable free build. And then you can go into build, and then you can build. Now it does take a second to get into it, so you just gotta be patient with it or whatever. So it will kind of like, 
it'll kind of act like your game is frozen, but you just get away for it to load. There we go. It actually might be the same size now thinking about it. But yeah, so this is the Forgotten Grotto. So we're not going to build anything here yet, but I am going to be, again, in a future video, um, I'll be doing some stuff and some interactions with this place, build a campsite here, because I do have the camping, you know, the camping, um, I don't know why I can't think about what the expansion is called, but I do have that camping expansion or game pack. So I do have camping equipment that I can actually set up here and camp here. Um, all right. So now we're into the grotto. So like Stone Glade, the Forgotten Grotto has many rare items to collect. The rare bat fish is only available in the Forgotten Grotto, making it necessary stop for angler sims. It's also a place to dig up rare collectibles, catch frogs and insects, and mine crystals and other minerals. Now this place, uh, the Stone Glade, was not a, you were not able to mine crystals or stuff like that, but you were able to catch frogs and insects. There are several plant spawners available here, including onion and mushroom. Players do not appear to um, be able to build here, but there is a wooden toilet available in the case, or in case the Sims spend a long time exploring. But like I said, you can actually build here if you want to, if you use the cheat. So there is that one. Um, so this is the Forgotten Grotto. So stuff you can interact with, there's some crystals um, over there, and then there's some over there as well. Um, and stuff like that. Pretty awesome place though. It, it, it is a pretty awesome place here. Um, and there is stuff you can interact with, but you gotta have to... I think there's like a certain way or a certain thing you have to have to be able to interact with it. Because right now it's not really gonna let us. So I think there's like certain things you have to have to be able to actually get the option to interact with the stuff. Um, but like I said, it's a pretty cool place though, you know. Um, so you can go right here and you can go fishing if you want and stuff like that, which where you can catch your bat fish and so forth. All right, the next one we're gonna be going to is the Deep Woods in the sense four. This one you have to have outdoor retreat to actually be able to do this place. Cause this place is, a, that's what it was called. That's the camping one I was just talking about. Um, so outdoor retreat does allow you to have the vacation world of Granite Falls. You can't live in this world, it's a vacation world. So you can only rent and live here for a certain amount of days or stay for a certain amount of days. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to Granite Falls. So we're going to travel, obviously we're going to take our two with us, and we're going to go over to Granite Falls, which is the vacation place. Now I've only been to Granite Falls um, a handful of times. Um, let's be booked on the phone, the computer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back home. We have to book this on our phone, the computer. So we're going to go back to our house first, and then I got to go onto the phone. And I think I gotta go under take a vacation to actually get to this place. Because it's not a place we can just travel to. We have to do it under the take a vacation um, option on your phone. Alright, so now we're back home. Um, so we're gonna leave Kenji where she's at and Poker where she's at. We'll bring them once we get into the new place. Um, let's see. This is right now, this is do um, care for self. Okay. So, we're going to go into our phone, and then we're going to take a vacation. We're going to bring them with us. Now, that will allow us to be able to go over to Granite Falls. Because you have to, it's under vacation, you know, to be able to get to that place. So, it should show you, okay, so now it's going to show you all the places you can go to take a vacation in. So, there's that place, uh, Mount Camabri, uh, there's Salvadorada, and then there's Granite Falls. And then there's also Jane Jabal 2 as well, which is going to be pretty cool. I don't have that one yet, but I am planning. That's going to be the next one that I buy. Um, anyways, Greater Falls is where you want to go to, though. Now, this one is a little more difficult um, to be able to find the place. It is, to be honest, a little more difficult. Um... But yeah, so Outdoor Retreat does introduce the vacation world of Granite Falls. If players allow the Sims to explore the forest for a while, they should come across a shrub hole near a uh, nearby cabin. Clicking on this shrub hole will trigger another rabbit hole adventure. So, this is the forest over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this place. Uh, we'll just rent for... Let's just do two days. Actually, we don't even need that much. We'll just do one day. We just need enough time just to be able to do this. So we're going to go over here, we have enough money to do it, so we're going to rent for one, just one day so we can travel to this place and see what it's like. Alright, so, we have to go all the way, so if you look over here, um, got to try to find the waterfall, 
Now this place, like I said, is a little harder to find. But what you gotta do is you gotta find where the waterfall is at. It's gonna be adjacent to the waterfall. And it is nighttime, as you can see. It's not daytime, so it's a lot harder to see stuff. Um, like, literally a lot harder to see stuff. So maybe we'll just fast forward through the day, or through the night until it gets morning. It is almost morning. Um, so we'll just wait here just for a second. I do apologize for this, guys. I didn't come here at a good timing. I came here at a pretty bad timing. So we'll just wait for a second here. Because we're gonna go ahead and go deep into the forest and we're gonna try to find this place. The forest is way over here as well. Um, but we can't even travel through all that. Um, so let's go to Manage Worlds. Alright, so we're in the manage worlds. So this is where we need to go right over here. Okay, that's where we gotta go. Um, and there's a waterfall down here. So it's gonna be like exactly adjacent to the waterfall. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into play. I just kinda wanted to show you exactly where it was gonna be. So we're gonna go into play and then we're gonna take, we're gonna go into travel. So we're gonna go on the phone. We're gonna go into travel. We're going to take them with us. And we're going to travel over to the Falls Forest. Alright, so here we are in the forest. Alright, this is the forest, big forest. Like, really, really big forest. Um, Alright. So like I said, it was exactly adjacent to the waterfall. So we're going to go all the way over here. It's a very hard thing to find. Alright. It is very, very, very hard to find. So you just kind of have to look around a little bit. Um, I also have to try and remember where it's at, to be honest. Um, but there's a little thing that you're going to look for. It's like a little different, like, tree splunk type wormhole thing. Or well, not wormhole, but like... It looks a little different, it's kind of like a rabbit hole, you know. So here's the waterfall, this is the thing, this is the waterfall. So it's gonna be exactly across from the waterfall. So we're gonna go this way. And it should be right down here somewhere. Here it is. So this is it right here. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and hit explore. We're gonna have him make his way over here. Now, for this one, you want to choose step forward, go through the web, ignore the object, and approach the sim. So surrounded by thickened thorns and dangerous most assertedly, Anthony is left with only one decision. Step forward or retreat from adventure. Obviously you don't want to retreat, so we're going to step forward. So the next one is going to say, after several minutes of hacking furiously through the, through the bush, a large web is blocking Anthony's way. One would prefer that web is not paired with a spider. Uh, so now we're going to go through the web. Anthony watches through the bush in high spirits, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, temptation. We're going to ignore the object. Anthony has navigated the night um, falling floods to discover a scared cove in the midst of the forest. A cove containing a mysterious sim. So now we're going to travel towards the sim. Would you like to send Anthony into the deep woods? Yes. So now we're going to go into the deep woods. It's also called Hermit's House. Now, this place um, does contain an actual house lot. Um, right here. So this is Hermit's House. Very, very small. You know, nothing too special. Um, it's not special at all. This house doesn't even have a TV. From what I remember, yeah, it doesn't even have a TV at all. It's a very, very, very small house. Not really much to do here deep in the forest. Um, so the hidden area does contain a home lot owned by Hermit. A lonely NPC player can interact with. As the Sim becomes friends with Hermit, the Hermit will give the Sim gardening tips and a recipe for great fertilizer. 
Next to the Hermit's home in the, water, um, in the waterfall, players who enjoy fishing should try their luck at catching the rare mountain lionfish, which is only available in this area. Players can find blackberries, also exclusive to this area, to plant at home. The deep wood is also the only place to find a willow wisp uh, walking stick and dragon, dragonfly insects, making it a must for collectors. Alright, so that's what that one is. Um, so, there's two more hidden areas that I'm going to be showing you here in this video. Um, because there is some other hidden areas and other packs as well, um, but I don't have those ones. So, what I do, I'll make a video of how to get to those ones. But the one we're going to do now is actually in, um, is from the Get to Work expansion pack. So, um, they can have those sim participate in active careers. In these careers, players control sims, active, or actions while they are um, at work in one of three careers in the sims. Detective, doctor, or scientist. This expansion comes with alien Oculus Sims as well as the rocket scientist skill, where Sims can level or Sims can learn and level up either on the side or through work in the scientist career. Players who do not select the rocket science career branch for the Sims will have to take a few extra steps to access Plant Sixum. Players in the rocket science branch of the scientist career can simply add a wormhole generator to the rocket, while scientists in the most general branch of the career will need to build the wormhole. These scientists will need to upgrade the wormhole generator with two elements and two uncommon crystals and metals. So this one is a little harder to get to. Um, so there's a few things I'm going to have to actually get before I can show you this one. So um, those are the ones I want to show you today. I will be showing you that one plus some other ones as well. Um, there's another one in Solani. And then there's a uh, Magic Realm Hidden World as well. And then there's the one in the um, Kamabri Up Mountains. And that's pretty much it. Um, so those ones I'm going to show you in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're content videos. And I will see you all in the next one.